Hi guys, welcome to another episode of SG Good Life. Today I'm going to teach you how to make steam conch or colloquially we call it gong gong. Okay, so I have here with me about uh, half a kg of uh, conch and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare it by salting the water first. Okay, so I'm going to just pour a bit of salt. Right, just pour a bit of salt, put water and then preferably, uh, I'm using sea salt but preferably uh, the, the finer salt will be better so they will absorb it better. Put a bit of water and why am I doing this is because I want to make sure that all the impurities, the sand, uh, all get spat out. Okay, so put it in and what you're going to do is just leave it in the water for roughly about half an hour. Okay, let's say if you're doing something else, an hour is fine as well. Just leave it in the water, uh, salted water, not too much salt as well because you don't want to kill the conch, but just enough uh, for it to spit out all the, the dirt and for the dirt uh, to come out by itself. Okay, now that I have my conch already in for 30 minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse the dirty water. You can see the water is really uh, dirty, right? I'm going to just rinse. One more time in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to clean the conch. Have another rinse again, and then what I'm going to do is have a small water drip, and I'm going to start to clean and brush the conch. Okay, now that I've uh, brushed off my last conch, right, I have it here. I have a brush. Make sure that you brush it clean. Make sure that that there's no gooey thing on top of the shell. Now that I brushed my last conch, I'm ready to prepare to steam it. Right now, I have a traditional steamer over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a water and fill it roughly to about 25% of this steamer. So roughly about there now. I'm not steaming too long, so I don't have to put too much water. Okay, so roughly about 25% or 20% will do. Okay, so right now I'm going to turn uh, my steamer to the highest. And you notice that there is this steamer uh, base over here. There's two base. I use the highest one. And then I'm just going to cap it. And I'm just going to wait for my steamer to reach its maximum. So this will be a, will take a few minutes. Let's get back to this later. Okay, guys, right now I'm going to make the sauce for the conch. So I'm just going to snip off the spring onions. And you can use a knife to do this. But again, I prefer a scissors. So I'm just going to snip off the spring onions equally into the bowl. Okay, next up, I'm going to cut the chili into just really small pieces. Okay. Right now, I'm going to pour the sauce. You can see all the chilies and chives are being cut up. So I'm just going to pour some soya sauce. I recommend using organic soy sauce or the soy sauce that is premium because there's no added salt in it or preservatives. Okay, so just pour uh, as much as you would like to a certain ratio. Put in a bit of sesame oil. Not too much because you do not want the sesame oil to overpower the taste. There was once I did it and it was just pretty much sesame oil taste. Just a bit of sesame oil and there will do. And then there you have it. As you can see right now, the, the steamer is screaming and it's really boiling hot. So this is the kind of uh, uh, boiling that I want. Alright, so what I'm going to do is once you put it in, then we count it up for 5 minutes. If your steamer is slightly weaker, then you might need 6 to 7 minutes. But I prefer 5 minutes and later I'll show you why. So just open my steamer very carefully, don't burn yourself. Put it in. Immediately close it and then start timing for 5 minutes. With steaming food, you want it to be very accurate so that your food is not overcooked.